What's going on guys? This is Chandler Smith and unfortunately we haven't been able to do a dream home update in months because literally nothing is happening over on the home or at least it's felt that way. Now there have been a couple updates that we're going to show you. Oh, sorry, James. <laughs> that we're going to show you guys today in this video. We also need to deal with some very frustrating subs that have taken forever to get there and the price just keeps going up. The gun is not for them. It's for some uh, very unwelcomed residents that have been staying over at the house that I'm going to go and take care of. However, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to show you that on the channel. So with all of that being said, let's jump into it. One other friendly reminder before we head over to the home, we have had a lot of offers to purchase the C8. We haven't had a lot for the Ferrari and we haven't had a lot for the Tesla or the Lexus, which are the ones that I really needed to sell quickly. So quick update before we go over to the house. This car, I'm going to be dropping $5,000. Same with the Lexus and the Ferrari. If I get an offer of someone that can pay cash and maybe even a loan if it's quick, I'm down to drop that $10,000, which brings it down to $210,000. So if you've been thinking about putting in an offer, I wanna see a lot more offers come in. I know that can sell for over $220,000 if I wait, but I'm just in a point where I want to get rid of it. Reason being, I have two cars that I ordered this last week that are on their way and I have literally no garage space. So please help me out. If you have someone that's interested in any of these cars, you can click the link up here and go check out that video to get all the details about the vehicle. So now with all of that, let's head over to the house. For those of you wondering, yes, I did do a little Google search before going over to the house and uh, this is what I found. All right, time for the update video. First off, I've got to give you an update on the uh, current situation with the BB gun. So over the course of the last couple weeks, I've had some major pigeon slash bird problems. Um, yesterday, I successfully took out a couple of them. And it's interesting because you, if you zoom in, James, can you see up there? See all the poop up on the top of the roof there? Um, we've had a lot of issues with pigeons up there, but they built nests all over inside of the house, which is probably due to the fact that no one has been in working in the house. However, today we've got our electricians and our smart home people both here going to town on the house. And so we're going to see if any birds are around to, uh, go and deal with them. If not, I'm excited because the birds are gone and people are in working on the house. So we're going to go see what happens. I'm sure the neighbors think I'm insane. Yesterday I was here and it was like a hundred degrees. So I had my shirt off and I'm out front with my BB gun walking around the house shooting pigeons. It, uh, yeah. Oh, first off, we got all the stucco done. I think that's new. So, and uh, actually let's go take you around the house first. Cause I want to see if the birds are in the pool room again. So, finish the stucco down this wall, which looks awesome. And we'll show you some in the back. I'll also show you uh, some of my prizes from yesterday. So there was a nest up here and I knocked it off and splatted two eggs that were in it. Um, I don't know if this can get me in trouble, but these are the <laughs> remains of that nest. However, the birds stuck around, which was a very uh, unfortunate mistake on their part. <laughs> These are the pavers we're deciding between. Um, I think we like one of these two the best, but then you can see the pool is still filthy. However, they did get the tile in and now they're gonna pour concrete around and then we're gonna put the pavers on the top. So let me know which pavers you like best. We're gonna build the pavers down and the stairs are finally done. So I can give you the full feel of coming in through the house on this side and going through it. All right, this is the locker room. So if you look, these are gonna be glass doors. We're, we actually decided to rip out this framing so that it's all concrete. And these will be big glass doors and then we'll have pavers right here and then up the stairs into the pool room. This back here, it's all gonna be storage. And then we're gonna have our TV set up here, our couch here, and then our lockers all along this wall. 
And we just ordered our fridge because I guess they're booked out quite a ways. But this whole section, we're gonna have a massive glass fridge where we always have it stocked with tons of drinks for all the sales reps that come over. Or we're also planning on doing a couple of real estate investing conferences in the basketball court. So keep an eye out for that. Um, we're gonna open it up for people who have purchased the real estate investing course. And if you haven't purchased the real estate investing course, make sure you click the link down in the description. You can get $50 off right now. And not only can you get $50 off, but we're raising the price another $250 at the end of the summer because we did a total revamp on the course and we'll be releasing all of those new videos soon. So you can click the link down below to check that out. In here, we're going to have a bathroom. So back in here, we decided to do a double vanity and then this is going to have a full tub where this bathroom will have a double vanity and then a stand-up shower. So that you can come, you can get dressed, you can get cleaned up before you go to the basketball court or before you go up to the pool and then this whole thing will be lined with lockers. The other thing we've gotten done since last time we were here is HVAC is almost finished and this is going to be the YouTube studio. We got this framed and it's kind of funky because we drilled into concrete and for some reason moisture was in these engineered concrete slabs. So it's been slowly dripping since we had that put in. But we're gonna have a podcast set up over here, but then my normal um, setup right here. So this is the basketball court. I actually have been working on some really cool renderings for the floor. It's not where I want it to be yet, but I connected with a really cool company that's hooking me up. So I may or may not in this video show you a little bit of those renderings on what it's gonna look like. We're gonna be able to play dunk ball this way, have a pickleball court, and then a professional full court with a cool designed key. So I'll have to wait and see how that turns out. I'm getting really excited because after it moving pretty slow, you can see they've got the electrical boxes coming in. Um, Things have just been moving really slow. COVID for one, but also there's just been this explosion in my area of building. And so we've been waiting for certain subs that I'm not gonna throw under the bus right now, maybe later, depending on where we end up. <laughs> but it's been a long, grueling process to get where we're at, but the electricians are full steam, same with the smart home people. And we're actually gonna go introduce you to my smart home guy, cause he's the freaking man. And I'm really excited to see all the smart home stuff we're gonna be doing. We're not gonna give it all away, but we might show you a couple of things that we're planning on doing. One bummer with the house um, that kind of caught us off guard that we should have thought about more, but the fur downs in the basement. We'd planned for a lot of space so that we had high ceilings, which they're still gonna be pretty high, but there are certain fur downs that we didn't know we would need for HVAC and other stuff. And it just kind of is what it is, but that's something I wish I would have known more about for designing the home. So I'll show you what I'm talking about in here. In this room, it turned out pretty good because you've got all these fur downs and they were able to do it equally. So it looks like this cool little vault portion in the ceiling, maybe you can go up because the fur downs all ended up equal. But out here in the living room, this one fur down kind of bugs me because we've lost a lot of ceiling. You still have a lot of ceiling over here in the main area, but they had to put all this in so that you had room for all the HVAC with the house, which is just kind of kind of part of the plan. So this is in the guest bedroom and we needed this fur down here that I wasn't expecting because we had a cool hanging light that we were going to mix up. And then there was one other place. The good news is in the theater room, they had kind of planned for that. You can see the theater room is still very open with great lighting, no fur downs. The sound should be incredible. And we might have Colby give you a little taste of what we're doing in here, but this is gonna be really, really sick when it's finished, so I'm excited. I also hooked up with a security system that we're gonna talk about. So these are all cameras that are going throughout the house. So one for liability with the people we're gonna have over, but two, it's just nice to have protection. So we're gonna wait. I'm not gonna tell you about that in this video, but in the future videos, we'll, uh, we'll jump into the security system that we have for the whole place. But the white wires are all the smart home stuff that they're putting in while also doing the electrical. So I'm really excited to see where we end up on things. But the other bummer 
This was going to be a music room that was really moody, a cool vibe. And we had this fur down here and we had a hanging light that was sick, but we're not gonna be able to do that anymore, which I know my wife was pretty bummed about because this room was gonna look really cool. She's chill with it, but also it just was one of the bummers of the experience that we probably should have thought about or planned for a little bit better so that we could have that in there. James, can I hold the camera? Yeah. Okay, you try reaching that. So you're six five. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. All right, you try reaching it. Okay. Can't touch it? Okay, Tip perfect. Toes, okay. How tall do you think that is? Probably nine feet still? Uh, yeah, probably gonna be nine feet or over. Nice, we'll take yeah. it. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. I missed again. Son of a bitch. How goes it? What's up, man? Oh, you know, just filming some videos. He's got a gun. Yeah. Well, just so you guys know, Colby is the smart home guy. He's doing the speakers throughout the house. He's doing all the light switches and making the house really smart, which is nice because I'm really dumb and the combo should be good. Right? <laughs> Can, you want to tell about your company in like two seconds? Yeah. Give us the rundown? Sure. Because you're all over here in Montana, Wyoming, yeah. Idaho. Yep, yeah, all over. Uh, yeah, just home automation uh, between lighting control, uh, automated shades, audio, video, um, you know, networks, cameras, all that good stuff. So, very cool. Uh, yeah, just as long as it makes people happy and convenient for them, then it works well. That's so. awesome. All right, so these are gonna be speakers and we actually put them throughout the whole house. Yeah, tell, you gotta talk up the theater system because I'm a believer, but tell us what all we're putting in in there. Got a 9.2 Dolby Atmos that we'll be putting in. Consist of three up fronts, four in the ceilings, and then surround the backs. Uh, and then of course, uh, 150 inch screen, uh, projector, a um, couple subs, of course. And then hopefully we're gonna do some seating, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we're working on some sick theater uh, seating too. Originally we were gonna do like couches, but you sold me pretty hard on the sick seating. Yeah, so, so yeah, other than that, a uh, full, you know, big old theater down there, so it's fun. So the other thing I wanted to say that's really cool about this is the system we're putting in with a home like this, you've got lots of different lights. And so you'd have, you know, what, like a dozen switches right. in some places where this will have little keypads for all of the lights. And then all of the lights in the home, I'll have, first of all, on my phone, so I can shut them down or turn them on if I want to. But also in the bedroom and on the way out in the back door, we'll have one button that just shuts down the lights in the whole home, turns on the security system. It's gonna be pretty rad. Yes, it is. Dude, it's hot up here. Yeah. All right, so you can see all of the cans up here in. All, the majority of the light switches, it looks like you've got them run up here. This is where the pigeon was last time. So I think I, I, think I took care of the problem. There are three of them. I didn't get two of them, but I did get one of them. And I think the other one's kind of figured out and dipped out on us. So I know this sounds silly, but seeing all of the electrical coming in is super exciting, especially after how long we've waited just to get things rolling. So uh, we've got the electrical. The other major changes are all in the exterior. So we'll go give you the drone footage and then I'll kind of talk about where we're at on things. All right guys, we've come to the end of the video and I'm going to continue to search tirelessly to take out the remaining pigeons. We were unable to uh, successfully take any down today <laughs> at this point we are continuing to go more and more over budget and the timeline is continuing to get pushed back more and more we we're hoping to get it done before the end of the year which i'm still fingers crossed that it's going to get done but uh every week that goes by that we're not on track I get more and more worried that that's not gonna be a reality. However, if you guys enjoy the videos that update you on where we're at, on the problems that we're running through, make sure you let me know in the comments. And if you want more in detail on anything that's going on in the home, make sure you let me know as well. Colby has been awesome. And I'm really excited to see where we end up with the smart home and everything else. And again, if there's anything else you guys wanna see in the videos, let me know. If you enjoyed this one, smash the like button. And we'll look forward to seeing you in the future videos. Thanks guys, we'll see ya. All right, guys, I may have stayed an extra 
30 minutes or so. But I was successful in getting rid of two of the pests on the property, so we'll be back.